What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. All right, iOS 16.4 Beta 1 is now live as you can see here. We're downloading it. Looks like it's finishing up right now. We're anticipating a lot of stuff here. They should bring back the revamped home architecture that was a mess in 16.3 that got pulled. Wasn't in 16.3.1 that just came out the other day. Hopefully it'll be back in here and improved. We should also have Apple Pay later. There's a bunch of new stuff that should be coming. Hopefully it'll be in this first beta build. We're not sure. We'll go over the build number, take a quick look with you guys, and then we'll do a deeper dive at another time. Make sure to thumbs up this video. I'm excited to get into this. We haven't got a beta in about a month now or so, so excited for this one. Let's go. So you guys can see live time 16.4 just finished loading. Let's go ahead and unlock this baby and check it out. All right, so first things first, everything is obviously pretty fluid. Let's hop into settings, go into general and about, and you can see we're running 16.4. The build number for this baby is gonna be 20E5212F. And earlier when we tried, the notes were not up yet. Yeah, it still seems like the profiles aren't there and any of the release notes aren't there. So interesting that this came out so quickly. But like I said in that introduction, we are anticipating Apple Card savings accounts to be coming at some point soon, Apple Pay later. None of these will be tied exactly to a beta or a live dot release. This is actually server side. They can flip a switch and it can be up at any time. Apple Music Classical. I haven't seen anything about that yet. Let's hop in here. Oops. And let's go into music. So no splash screen talking about it yet. Still just your traditional launch. Also what we're anticipating is that new web push notifications coming, but also one of the more important things that a lot of people are waiting for is that home architecture change that they pulled. Let's see if that is back here now, if we go into home and home settings, and there is a home upgrade available. Home has a new underlying architecture that will improve the performance of your home. You can go to learn more, continue, and you can see the whole breakdown of what will be done and what will need to be updated via a software update first. So we'll go ahead and activate this. And as you can see down here, it says devices that are unable to update that won't be able to view or access this home. Not a big deal, our uh, MacBook Air is just a secondary device. So we'll let this process through and get that updated. This was a big feature that was missing and pulled just because of how buggy it was in a prior release. Glad to see this is hopefully all back and ready to go scot-free, hopefully. Beyond that, I did check, there is no change yet to actually that Apple savings or Apple pay later. Um, it is not active yet in here, just so you know, I did jump in the wallet app and check. Beyond that, while that goes and finishes, let's see if there's anything new that stands out in settings here. Nothing in general. Seems pretty consistent. Let's actually just jump into at wallet and pay. Not a there. Okay. Okay. And I just jumped back in and I just checked the home upgrade has been completed. This home can now take advantage of the new underlying architecture that is offered improvement, performance, and reliability. Done. Finally up to date and on that new architecture. Very good to see. Finish this up. And uh, yeah, we can mess with all this at another time. I'm not going to jump through it now, but we can see how it would work. And hopefully that matter support and all that will make a huge difference overall with the IOT things and all that. Um, for now though, that's all we saw. Um, let me see if there's any new emojis. Let me hop in one of these messages. Lance, everything looks pretty much the same here. Usually we get some new faces and smiley faces as well. Nothing, nothing standing out yet. Nope, looks to be, looks to be everything we've already had. So, We'll do a deeper dive. I want to go ahead and get this video out for you guys to take a look at. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Go update that home architecture, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.